Hey, this is Dustin from California Real Specialist. In this video, we want to talk about things that you should consider before purchasing a Flex Armor roof. Here's the things that I like about a Flex Armor roof. One, I like the thickness of it. Two, I like that it reduces the maintenance of the roof. And three, that it comes with a lifetime warranty. Hey, so now let's talk about my concerns. So a lot of consumers perception is that they believe this product is one and done, that there's no more maintenance and there's nothing that they need to worry about. So as a RV repair shop owner and as a former technician, what I want to explain to you is there is maintenance on this product. So no matter whether you're traveling down the road or it's parked and you're walking around in the unit, there are still things that are going to require to be cleaned up resecured and replaced if you've had this product applied to your coach. So my second major concern was how this product was applied. And again, it's all about the customer's perception. Um, going back to there's no maintenance required. You know, they believe that it's a one and done and that's not the case. So let's get into it. So this is the back rear corner of a grand design reflection that was coded and on this what i simply want to explain to you is that they the application where it was applied it was covered over the rain gutter molding it was also covered over the screw insert cover the rain gutter itself and then the rear corner cap molding now as time goes if you're a consumer and you you know your rain gutters go bad from the sun damage in it. The insert moldings, even though they're coated over, those are still going to shrink up, which in this picture is starting to do so and letting loose. The corner caps are still going to become an issue. You've now basically trapped everything on the unit that would need to be removed in order for just basic maintenance. As we're looking at this side, Again, what I want to talk about is the application. Now, the product itself is nice and thick, but the thickness that we see on the back of the coach is not the same thickness that was applied to the roof membrane itself. In the event that you, you know, struck the rear cap, uh, a molding on the rear back corner comes loose from the coach, you know, flexing and moving um, in travel or even in a park position, just the normal walking around in it. Um, now, in order to repair what needs to be done as far as like a maintenance issue or maybe an impact issue, we're going to have to disturb that coating, which I feel is going to you know, void the warranty or alter it in some way. So um, again, I'm not a real big fan of how they coated these areas. I would have not done that myself. And again, this again comes from the repair and maintenance side perspective of it. The corner caps are gonna shrink, crack, and dry underneath. The insert molding that is starting to come out is gonna at some point need to be replaced. Um, and then of course, the sidewall and rear cap moldings as these need to be tightened up because of the flexing. Um, it now, you know, again, we're gonna have to compromise the coating that was installed. So the skylight is also a concern for me. So whether you go through a hailstorm have a pine cone drop on it, have a tree branch hit it, or mother nature takes her effect on it, you know, discolors it, it cracks, uh, even in flexing, flexing, temperatures, heat, something causes an issue, whether you need to have it removed in order to uh, get in there to make a repair, to seal something off or to clean it, it's now impossible without disturbing this product. Again, voiding the warranty of the coating. So what I've kind of, learned from looking at their website was it stated you know simply cut around the edge of the skylight reinstall one seal it with dicor or whatever product you're going to use to seal it with then in order to reobtain their lifetime warranty on it you would then have to either contact them and either schedule an appointment to go to their facility or see if they have somebody that can come out to you to reapply that coating now what i've noticed is on their videos you know, this is done in a shop. It's a sprayed coating. It's not a rolled on coating. So I don't think that they're going to be able to come out in the field and take care of it for you necessarily. 
But what I do want you to keep in mind is when it comes time to replace the skylight, which again, it's not maintenance free. It does require, you know, repairs and replacement as time goes, you were going to have to travel to very limited amount of companies that can repair this. So just like I was talking about the rear molding, uh, this product has been applied over the front cap, the side rail, the front molding and the rain gutter. If for any reason, you know, there's needs to be something needs to be tightened, repaired, replaced, this coating is now gonna be compromised in doing so in order to make those repairs. Here's an example of the sidewall molding. And as you can see the gap underneath of it, um, when I was talking earlier about, you know, traveling in the coach or just simply walking around the coach if the coach is parked, maybe you're, you know, you're using your leveling jacks and you're stabilizing the coach. As that coach is doing the side to side flexing, those moldings tend to need to be tightened. And so this molding is actually coming loose. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to go in there and tighten up this molding because if we do, we're going to end up causing damage to the actual roof material that's coated on the insert screw cover molding. So it's just something else to keep in mind. Um, you know, that molding, if the putty tapes bleed out from behind it, that's going to compromise again with the gaps that's there. If you pressure wash it, drive it through a truck wash, use a water hose, you take a risk of getting water back behind that molding and damaging the sidewall of the coach and also the, at the roof line. So I hope these concerns uh, give you something to reflect on before you think about investing in a flex armor roof or another product that's sprayed on. So you can also request that these items that I've discussed to you that are concerns of mine are not sprayed over or covered in the event that something does require some maintenance, adjustments, repairs. Now check out the following video so you can see more about this flex armor roof. Hey everybody, so today I'm looking at a 2017 Grand Design Reflection and the customer came in and doing a Wilbury pack service, but they said that they had the armor roof applied. Um, I like the product, it looks great. It's nice and thick, as you can see how thick that is it's at least on the back of the wall it's at least a quarter inch thick i'm not sure how i would say how thick it is on the actual roof my only concerns are if they ever damage the roof because this again is just a, a sprayed on material kind of similar to like a bed liner you can already see that it's getting like mold growing on it in the pores see the gray and so it's already getting mold that's grown on it and dirt. And it kind of feels a little, you know, powdery. But what my real concern is, is they sprayed over the moldings and they sprayed over the insert molding. So here's the insert molding. When that molding starts to shrink up, it is like it already has starting to make a separation right here on the lower. And as you can see, it's like that all the way down. For some reason, if this molding ever gets damaged or compromised and the rain gutter gets hit by a tree branch or something like that and has to get replaced, now you're gonna have to replace this molding, replace the insert molding, cut it. And there's no way of like scraping it. You'd have to physically take a razor knife or a chisel and cut through that. Um, again, if they hit something, my concern would be, you know, it's still rubber underneath. It's still gonna impact it and still gonna tear. Um, so I'm worried to see what the long-term effect is on this. Again, this is one that was just done, I think they said about a year ago or a year and a half ago, but I really don't like, you know, now you can see how gray it really is. And I'm standing right underneath two LED bright lights. So see how gray that is? versus right next to us is another new reflection with a tan TPO roof that we just did some touch ups on. And you can see the difference in how clean that roof is compared to how gray this one already is. Now it may brighten up after they get up here and scrub it, clean it. But again, what I'm concerned about is that's mold 
growing in the pores of the product. So that's letting me know that that's doing some kind of deteriorating. Then the other thing I will, the owner said that they replaced the skylight, but they went way up around the skylight, which is great. But if that skylight, when that skylight gets sun damaged, how are you going to get that thing off? So, I mean, talking about massive amounts of labor and time, and if you're not anywhere near, or if they decide to go out of business or they don't come by to take care of their forever warranty, you're forever screwed. So anyways, hope this video gives you kind of an idea of the surface. The coatings that we're using is a, is a rolled on or sprayed on coating, but it's not this aggressive and we stop it at the rail line and we don't go over the edges. So thanks so much for watching.